Arise, shine, for your light has come. This is Brother Thomas Paul from 3LTV, Vienna, Austria. My dear friends, in the last episode, we reflected how the light transformed chaos into cosmos. And we prayed for all the victims of the situation of the child abuse. And I feel confident that prayer, which all those who have seen those videos and prayed together, have brought a, a transformation in all over the world. I feel confident. And I am sure we continue to pray in that way so that the whole chaos will be transformed to cosmos. Be confident that is the beginning. Let there be light. And that light has such a power. Now, in this episode, we pray for the church particularly, for the priests and bishops, Particularly those who are weak and fallen, my dear friends, they are our brothers in Christ. Jesus said in Luke chapter 18, 7, Will not God secure the rights of the chosen ones who will call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? Jesus said, I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. I repeat, justice is done for them speedily. Therefore, when we the chosen one, that is the church, all of us together with our beloved Pope who is in such a great agony in this situation and all the cardinals and the priests. We pray for all the priests who are afflicted due to this situation. They are, in spite of their weaknesses and failures, they are the chosen one of the Lord. Even when they celebrate the Holy Eucharist, the, U the Lord comes there. The Lord has not condemned them. The Lord justifies them. That is the justification of the kingdom. This we have to learn later on again. And so Jesus said, I tell you, he will see to that. Justice is done for them speedily. And for our motivation for this prayer, I take this scripture passage of Isaiah chapter 16, 1 to 3. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. Though darkness covers the earth and thick clouds the peoples, upon you the Lord will dawn and over you his glory will be seen. Nations shall walk by your light. Kings by the radiance of your dawning. My dear friends, we must recognize who are these priests and what are they. They are all chosen ones, but they are weak. They have a weak situation. That's why Isaiah, Hebrews chapter 5, 1 to 5 says, Every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer sacrifices, offer sacrifices for sins. My dear friends, every high priest, every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and erring, for he himself is beset by weaknesses. Hebrews chapter 5. He, him, he himself is beset by the weaknesses. So, every priest who was 
who is chosen he is not he is chosen not because of his holiness it is his call and every one of them will have weaknesses and failure i say every one because no one is there without holiness god everybody is sinners but god sanctifies them the lord say be holy as i am holy and he the one who makes us holy but then there is a progressive process in that i have been conducting retreats to many priests and i found the vulnerability of their situations they internally are crying so we must recognize the fact that they are called not because they are very holy ones the very letter of hebrews quoted by pope john paul ii in pastoris dabo obis he said these words that every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before god to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins he is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and erring for he himself is beset by weaknesses and so for this reason he makes sin offerings for himself as well as for the people so this is what we have to really make it more and more he must offer sin offering for himself so we have to also understand this and offer prayers for him we can see in the history how god called people god called weak persons and strengthened them with his grace we can see what is the call of moses moses was a murderer but the lord god called him and commissioned him go i am sending you king david king solomon they were all such anointed kings but beset by great weaknesses and failures isaiah oh a great prophet isaiah's book we consider as the fifth gospel and that isaiah himself says woe isaiah chapter 6 five onwards then i said woe is me i am doomed for i am a man of unclean lips living among a people of unclean lips and my eyes have seen the king the lord of host the one of the seraphim flew to me holding an ember which he had taken with the tongs from the altar see what is that and he touched my mouth with it see he said now that this has touched your lips your weakness wickedness is removed your sins are purged go see all the prophets and we have to understand their situation was much vulnerable because that was before jesus's arrival whereas our situation is much more important because jesus has come he offered a great sacrifice he took all our sins but still a concupiscence is allowed to remain in us it is that concupiscence is troubling us still now again i want to bring your attention to the another great prophet hosea hosea i don't know how many of us knew this god said to hosea go and marry a prostitute and he had to do this so hosea married a prostitute the first pope simon peter we know simon peter fell down at the feet of jesus and cried out depart from me lord for i am a sinful man luke chapter 5 jesus said to simon do not be afraid from now on you will be fishes of men i will make you a fishes of men jesus chose him knowingly he is a sinner and we know what are all more sins he has done 
we will see in another episode. And Matthew, the tax collector, who was condemned by everybody, but Jesus went to his house. He did not at all look at his sin or past. He called him, come follow me. And he got up and followed him. A great sinner. What was his pre-qualification? What was his training? And he became such a great apostle and the great gospel writer. And finally, let us see the great saint, Saint Paul. What was he? He said, I was called from my mother's womb to be an apostle. Then what was he doing? And he himself saying, I am the greatest of the sinners, foremost of the sinners. And this Saint Paul, after experiencing the Lord and his holiness and his compassion and mercy, still continued to cry about his weakness. Oh Lord, I am weak. Take away this weakness from me. And then he says, but the Lord said, my grace is enough for you. When you are weak, you are strong. My dear friends, it is a mystery. It is a mystery. It is not the way we think. Let us, let us focus on the compassion of high priest Jesus. That is what now we have to understand in Hebrews chapter 4, 15 says. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses. Hebrews chapter 4, 15. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. My dear friends, I am so confident that our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the high priest, who called all the priests not to be in the image of his priesthood, but to be like, to be another Christ. Christ, altar, Christus, capitus. All the priests who are ordained are not an image, but an icon, but Christ himself. Now, in spite of their failures and weaknesses, when they lay hands over, when they call the Holy Spirit come, Jesus come and transform the bread and wine to body and blood of Christ. So my dear friends, let us be encouraged. Let us be not condemning them. Let us encourage and pray for them to help them to come out from these problems by contaminating, by punishing him. That is not the way of the Lord. He said, forgive, love and forgive, love and forgive. Jesus said, love one another as I loved you. What is the meaning of I loved you? He loved us and he took our sin upon him. Jesus showed this parable in Luke chapter 15, the triple parable, the gospel of gospels in Luke chapter 15 about the prodigal son, about his elder brother. But that parable begins with the great beautiful parable of the lost sheep. A man had a hundred sheep, but one sheep is lost. In the wilderness it has gone away. And this man, then the Luke 15 says, Jesus' own words, What a man among you, having a hundred sheep, and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert, and go after the lost one until he finds it. And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy. This is, we must imagine this. What a compassion of the Lord. This is the type of compassion and love we must show to the lost sheep, lost shepherds themselves. They are priests, bishops, but they are God's chosen ones and God's compassion is upon them. So I want to pray with you before that we once again refer to Isaiah chapter 40, 40, 28 and following. Be encouraged. 
let us be strengthened by these words do you not know isaiah says have you not heard the lord is god from of old creator of the ends of the earth he does not faint or grow weary and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny we don't understand his knowledge it is such a big mystery he gives power to the faint abandoned strength to the weak abandoned and strength to the weak though young men faint and grow weary and youths stagger and fall they that hope in the lord will renew their strength they will soar on eagles wings they will run and not grow weary walk not grow faint my dear friends let us pray now with all these things let us be united with the whole church with holy father with all the bishops and priests and religious and all the celebrations of the holy eucharist is made done in 500000 altars we are united and we are united with mother mary saint joseph and all the millions of saints and martyrs they are with us they are with us and Jesus himself the high priest is praying for us and holy spirit is praying for us i am going to pray please be with me pray with me i am going to pray in tongues it may be strange for many of you don't worry all of you who have the gift of tongues pray with me when i pray in tongues not only my mind my spirit is praying Holy Spirit is praying Jesus is praying all the saints are praying for all the priests and bishops and cardinals and for the pope in this situation shanda laha laba lama kiria halia rama kiria laba o lord strengthen them arise and shine out arise and shine out may your power come upon them may they be radiant with your power may your compassion and love lift them up to your shoulders lord strengthen them lord and create them lord forgive them lord anoint them lord and create them lord justify them lord arahiri allami allah la bala ulaya we are praying united as all of you who are watching this who unite with me you pray with me all the priests bishops and eminence you let us pray for the whole church the lord is with us will he not do justice to those who cry out day and night he has promised he will do justice i will do justice speedily will he not do justice to those who cry out day and night as we cry out day and night we have day and night 24 by 7 prayer for this situation and the whole church with so much pain and passion praying for this situation shanda la la bala makiria hurru la la bala makiria hiria la la bala ma shanda la la bala ulaiya hiria la la ba raise and shine out be radiant amen